What is going on, my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi Gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel. And if you guys aren't new, welcome, welcome. With Destiny being in a low right now, figured I'd come out with some free off meta builds that I think are going to be pretty nasty next season with two of them being stasis since we're getting a stasis season in season 23 and one is a hunter pvp build with some invisibility and knucklehead radar so be on the lookout for those but first we're starting out with a winter's guile arm exotic for the warlock using some glaives as well as using that penumbral blast to get an automatic shatter which is how these gauntlets work while also increasing your melee damage based on the defeats you get with melee attacks beforehand hence why we're using glaives because that will stack our warlord's sigil which gives us that bonus damage now when we move on to our armor and our mods here i talk this as the north dragon frost boy right here looking like the opposite of smog throwing out that stasis for us we're going to be using heavy ammo finder with scout and of course harmonic siphon for our kinetic weapon as well as our heavy now when we move on to the arms we're going melee kickstarter so we can get that penumbral back even faster with momentum transfer so causing damage with grenades gives us a melee cooldown which is why we're using these gauntlets to have that penumbral blast shatter immediately as well as just get that extra damage from winter's guile Next, over here on our chest piece, we got charged up as well as our arc and harmonic resistance. You can change this out for something else depending on what you are going into, but we're using this charged up to stay charged with light even more so we can have those armor charges give us our melee kickstart. Now, on our boots, we're going to go with invigoration, recuperation, and innervation just so when we pick up orbs of power, we're going to get our grenade, our health, as well as our melee, so just a little triple threat on our boots. Boots. And lastly, Reaper with double outreach so we can create more orbs of power after throwing down our rift and get a little bit of that melee energy back for Penumbral Blast so we can keep using that and shattering enemies everywhere since we're going to be using glaives, like I said, as well as a bow. So as you can see right here, this is what we are using with that nice juicy triple 100s in our discipline, recovery and resilience for PvE. Now we're going to be using Rancor right here. So we have that Archer's Tempo with the headstone so we can create even more stasis crystals. And this thing just feels super crispy. Got a lot of defeats on this for the PvE realm. Now for me, using Ecliptic Distaff with Aegis's Replenish on it, as well as Destabling rounds so we can use this for the melee defeats to proc winter's guile as well as create volatility on enemies now last we're using that winter's bite since this thing is getting a buff with the damage on it and it pairs perfectly with this build with damage as well as freezing enemies plus it'll proc winter's guile as well when we get melee defeats with it so both of these will proc it as well as our pernumble blast which you will see in a second now, like I said, this will be a definite big build next season since we're getting a little stasis specific season. So we'll go over some artifact mods next season that'll help this out. I'll throw it down in the comments and pin it on top as well because nothing really this season in our uh, fragments and aspects, or I should say our artifact is going to give us too crazy of a juice as well as that monochromatic meister and elemental munitions. But but like I said, we'll go over those a little bit in the end next season. Now for us, obviously, Winter's Wraith with that Healing Rift Burst Glide per number blast, which is important. And then I'm using Cold Stab Grenades for a few different reasons. Now we are going to be using Bleak Watcher because I do really, really like this as an aspect, being able to throw out those turrets and we're getting grenades pretty fast. Obviously not nearly as good as Osmiomancy with Cold Snaps, but it is going to be helpful us a lot next we're using that glacial harvest so freezing targets create stasis shards around those frozen targets higher tier combatants create more so this will be with our winter's bite as well in that heavy as well as the stasis crystals we get from headstone on our bow 
Now for our fragments, using a Whisper of a Rhyme so we can get a little bit of overshield from collecting all those stasis shards. We're gonna be using a Whisper of Shards, so Shattering Stasis Crystal Temporary boosts our grenade recharge rate, super important for Bleak Watcher and our Cold Snap, and additionally, Shattering those Stasis Crystals increases the benefit of this, so we'll have those everywhere. On top of that, all those Stasis Shards that we are producing are gonna track to our position, and last, while we are near those frozen targets or friendly stasis crystals, we take reduced damage so we can stay alive even longer with this build continuously, throwing out bleak watchers, cold snaps, as well as using our penumbral blast, hence why we had that double grenade kickstart not grenade kickstart double impact induction so when we get damaged with our cold snap or our bleak watcher we're going to get penumbral back quickly plus we're going to be using those glaives like i said to proc that extra melee damage so you will see how easy this build works for using that glaive for damage using the glaive in our ecliptic distaff for that volatility freezing enemies like crazy with our melee as well as our bleak watcher turrets so we're able to do all lot with this build definitely like i said gonna get better next season with the addition of some stasis updates that they are focusing on for season 23 and it is going to be a long season so definitely be on the lookout for a lot of builds and a variety coming to the channel we're going to be playing a lot more games with destiny kind of doing its thing how it is but we are obviously still going to be focusing on destiny content as well well so again appreciate all y'all for joining in on the content joining that giveaway with vast congrats to the winner as well that is amazing and like i said continue following the channel for updates join the discord follow on here with that bell as well so i appreciate all y'all i'll catch you in the next one peace